Tonight we're working on the suspension. We're going to check out these Penske Racing shocks because we finally got our awesome tool in. This is the pressure check and fill tool from Penske Racing, which we'll be using to check these shocks to see what the nitrogen fill levels look like and if we've had any leakage. So let's get, let's get started here. Open this guy up and get the tool on. All right, we've got the tool tightened, so we're gonna go ahead and twist this to open the valve. And it looks like our rear left shock is right over 120, so maybe 121 or 122. So that'll be fine for now. We'll make a record of that. And let's move over to the left rear. All right, let's open this guy up. So it is at right under 120, about 119. So they're fairly close and um, should be fine for now. We'll check them again in a few days to make sure that there's not any leakage. And we might add some more nitrogen if needed uh, based on what Penske recommends. We're gonna check the ones in the car as well that are sitting on the front here. So it looks like our front right one is right about 125, 126. So fairly similar to the rear ones. So Penske has made this tool where you can utilize it in two ways, right? That's correct. You use it as a pressure check tool, so it's handy while working on the car and even at the track. And then if we need to add more nitrogen, we just hook the fill hose right to the tool and we know what we're putting in and where it stands. It's the two in one, pretty awesome. How's that one looking? Yeah, so this looks like it's at about 121. So fairly similar to the rest. So it looks like they're fairly equalized. We'll check with Penske, see if they have recommendations if we need to add more nitrogen or we need to make changes, but we'll be going over the shocks and the shock bodies now to make sure that we don't need to replace any seals or do any type of new. 